<laughs> Fuck yeah. Hi, Laura. This is uh, Be- this is Benny over here at Hertz at Midway, and uh, we were uh, expecting you for a rental. Uh, I have a rental from Hertz. Okay. Well, it, it's shown we haven't given you a car yet. Uh, no, I have the car actually with me. Okay. Which car did you take? Uh. The one that was it. Hang on one second. and Hold on one second, all right? Sure, sure. It was in... I don't have the paperwork in front of me. I just went to get the keys. Um, okay. It was installed... It was installed 20. And if it helps, I can give you a vehicle number. Uh, Yeah, if you want to go ahead and give me the vehicle number. Uh, It's 12994111. Okay. All right. Uh, we got a little bit of a problem. That particular vehicle is actually reserved for one of our VIP clients. You were supposed to be assigned uh, the vehicle install 12, uh, which was okay. a Dodge Neon. Okay. Well, they told me stall 20. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that was a that was a mistake. Uh, we're gonna have to have you bring the car back so we can swap it out. Uh- I can't. I can't do that. I'm on a business trip. Okay. Um, it's ten o'clock at night, and I have a I have a business meeting at seven thirty tomorrow morning. Okay. It's imp- it's impossible. I, I'm I'm I. To not have. How far away from you are you from the rental office? I'm actually in Oak uh, Oak uh, Oak Brook, I think. Okay. Okay. Um, we can offer some vouchers, ma'am. How, mu- how much money in vouchers would it take? We can offer up to five hundred dollars. Uh, you know, I would love to. I don't have any way to get you the car. I okay. need the car, and I. Okay. Um, no, no, that's fine. That's fine. What we'll, we'll just we'll go ahead and do because you did get a. Um, I mean, the, the car the car to- was upgraded. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we'll just charge the additional uh, two fifty a day on there. Uh, that, for the I'm upgrade. not paying that, dude. They, I am not paying any extra. This was not my fault. Well, you were supposed to have a compact, not, ma'am. I, they told me that I didn't argue for anything. I am not paying that. Okay, this is well, a first problem. It's in the agreement, ma'am. You signed this when you picked up the vehicle. What are you talking about? They told me to... <laughs> So we can't take a loss on the vehicle. What's the what? We can't take a loss on that vehicle. Uh, the difference between what you were scheduled to have and what you actually have is $250. Okay, I'm not paying that. So who do I need to talk to? Because this is ridiculous. You guys assigned a car to me, okay, as an old member. Right. You told me the stall. Okay, you said here's the car, go and get it. This was not it, this was no fault of mine. Okay, this is sound a little I suspicious to... now because we bring the cars to you. We don't tell you to go get the cars. No, you... I'm a gold member. Mm-hmm. So at the front desk, the woman said you are she said you plugged in my information. She said your car is in stall 20. I got a text from Hertz, which I always do, saying you are in stall 20. Go out there and get it. And oh. the keys are in the ignition. And even the board said Robinson L above stall 20. Okay, man. Well, it's, it not, it's absolute- not like you're a platinum member. Anybody can sign up to be a gold member. So, I mean, you're, you're throwing around the gold membership is, is not impressing me. Dude, I'm, I'm just telling you what happened. I'm not throwing around anything. What it, it, You act like this is my fault. Is, is it possible that do you have d- dyslexia or something, ma'am? Maybe you mistake mistaken twenty for twelve. Um, no. Okay, well, I was just checking. I travel often. I travel often for business. All right, well, ma'am, we offer we offered five hundred in vouchers. We're trying to to make this 
make this situation better. Uh, if you can really come need out the car. here and get the car in the morning, yeah, like this is un. I run from Hertz all the time. It's oh. unbelievable. Yeah, I think we can come out and get the car. Let me check something here. Uh, and it, are you? What is your? What is your name? Oh I've my! Never, my name is Benny. And Benny, are you a manager there? Uh, no, I work the counters. You work for who? I work the counters. No, I'm not a manager. I okay. work the service I've counters. I've never had a company ask me if I'm dyslexic. What's your last name, Benny? I'm sorry. It's against company policy to give out my last name. It's for our protection. God, some, sure some, people, some, some people get husband. disgruntled, and then they try to look up our personal information, and then it, it escalates, and we can't have that. We well, can go I ahead and send just, someone out. Uh, it's probably going to be a couple hours. Uh, to get that car, if you want it, you, they can be here at seven thirty in the morning. Well, we're we're gonna just go ahead and leave the keys in the car for you, and we'll do a switch. We already got an extra set of keys, so you can keep those and just return them when you bring the vehicle back. We're gonna go ahead and bring out another vehicle uh, at about ten thirty in the morning. So we'll pick the other one up in a couple hours. We'll bring you the replacement at ten thirty in the a. No. That that's unacceptable. I need, I have a business meeting at seven thirty in the morning. Okay, yeah, that's just not going to work for us. Uh, Ten thirty is going to be about the quickest we can get one out there to replace it. I well, it's it, that's dude. I, can you put a supervisor on the phone? Uh, yes. Let me take a look and see who's on tonight. Is there a reason you want to speak with the supervisor? Is there something that I could help because you out this, with? Because you were you were making a situation unacceptable. This is a problem that Hertz created. Okay. I'm on a business trip. Mm -hmm. I have a business meeting that I need the car for at seven 30. And you guys are, are, are trying one to up the day rate mm -hmm. and accusing me of doing something wrong. Yeah. The, the only problem is, cause I told you we're going to come get the car in the uh, next couple hours. I've already hit the immobilizer. Uh, which is not going to allow the car to actually move until we go and put the code in it. It's what we use for anti-theft devices. And so the car is no longer going to start. So you'll have to go ahead and use the replacement. Okay, I need to talk, Benny, I need to talk to a supervisor. Sure, give me just a moment. Uh, I'm going to put you on a brief hold, if you don't mind, and I'm going to see who's in the office. Uh, can I go ahead and do that? Sure. All right, give me just a moment. Yes, hello. Hello? Yes, hi. How can I help you? Hi. Who is this? This is Mr. Stephen Sharp. Hello? Yeah. Who is this? Mr. Stephen Sharp. How can I help you? Okay, do, are you with Hertz? Yes, ma'am. And are you a supervisor with Hertz? Yes, I am, ma'am. How can I help you? Okay, so I read... Well, I rented a car from you guys a couple of hours ago, and your desk person, Benny, is telling me that it's in dry, it's unable to be driven now. Yes, ma'am. We've hit the... We've disabled your okay, that, car. That, are you, that is are you unacceptable. Gonna, so you're just going to tell me what's wrong and then tell me it's unacceptable before you allow me to talk to you, ma'am? That's unacceptable. Well, Benny just spent... Benny just spent 10 minutes telling me what, he, before even asking me, he just told me what you guys did. You guys evidently have remotely disabled the car, unbeknownst to me. So how is yes. that acceptable? Well, we tried okay, I, to give you I a voucher, ma'am. Are you even going to let me talk, or are you just going to keep talking? You wanted to talk to Go a ahead. supervisor, but you haven't even allowed me to talk. Go ahead. Are you sure? Anyway, ma'am, 
we've offered you the vouchers and you wouldn't accept the vouchers and we offered to bring you the replacement car. So you wouldn't take any of that. So we've taken matters into our own hand and you're going to have to live with that, ma'am. Sir, here is the issue. Okay. I need the car at 730. Yes. We told you that we will have the replacement car there within a couple hours. No, you didn't. What Benny said is that it would be there at 1030. No, he told you it would be at least three hours. I was listening in on the call. Okay, well, where did 1030 come from? Why did he say the car would be here at 1030? That's if we bring you a car of equal value. But we're okay. Well, he never said that. And how am I going to get the keys to this car, this replacement car? He already told you that they would be left in the ignition. You're going to leave the keys to a car overnight in the ignition. Yes, ma'am. There are cars. We can do what we please. (laughs) I don't understand what the big deal is here. You're not going to be out anything. You're going to have a vehicle. I, I, it's, you're just, I just enabling us all the time. And you're just enabling I, us to do our jobs. I, I, and you're enabling now me to do my job by working through this with me. Ma'am, we've tried to work through this with you very nicely. Yeah, actually you did. I appreciate that. Hey, boss. Yeah. Boss, boss. It's what? Boss, I, is, is she on hold? Can she hear me? Yeah. Oh, uh, hold on ask, a second, ma'am. Ask, ask her if she's on her period. I think she's really aggressive. She might be on her period. Yeah. yeah. Well, you guys nailed it. Hello, ma'am. You guys nailed it. Tell Benny what? he wins. Wins what? Tell Benny he wins. Uh, what does that mean? Tell Benny he wins. Benny, you win. Whatever that means. What's that supposed to mean? (laughs) (laughs) Tell him he wins. Uh, evidently you win. What What the fuck did I win? He (laughs) wants to know what he won. I... It will be in the car. Uh, I think she says she's going to shit in the car. What? <laughs> That's fucking disgusting. I've never heard of such a goddamn thing. It's a good thing we've got her you credit card on file. To... Yeah, yeah, you guys will have to... Uh... I'm getting it. Hey, what, what, what is this shit you're talking to to my boss lady? <laughs> Never heard of such a thing. I They're love disgusting. it. Disgusting. I love it. I love it. I don't know. You're going to get me in trouble here. You're making me lose my temper. And it's like the second time that I've had, I've had something like this happen. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go outside and have a smoke. It's okay, Benny. I, I'm like at my wit's end with this lady so far. I mean, she's just been treating us horrible. I don't understand why she won't work with us on this. (laughs) We've done everything we possibly can very politely and she won't. There she goes. Baloney tits. Was that a a threat? She was going to shit in the car? (laughs) 